we will often need to change lanes whilst driving, for example when passing parked cars or when overtaking. To do this safely, we will need to judge the speed and position of other traffic, as well as keeping good control of our car. This can be more difficult when driving in heavy traffic or unfamiliar roads, as we will have less time to make a safe decision. This video will show how we make sure our lane changes are always safe and what we do if we get stuck in the wrong lane. As always, if you have any questions about this video, please comment below and we will do our best to reply. To ensure we complete a lane change safely, we should use the MSM routine, which stands for Mirror, Signal, Maneuver. If we always use this routine when making decisions, we should stay safe. Here we are on a dual carriageway and would like to overtake the lorry in front, so we'll need to change our road position into the right lane. However, we can only do this if it can be completed without forcing other drivers to brake or steer to avoid us. Since we need to change lanes to the right, we check our centre and right mirrors for any danger. We must look in each mirror for long enough that we can judge the speed and position of other vehicles so a quick glance won't always be enough if there is traffic nearby. If there is a continuous stream of traffic or a speeding car approaching quickly, we must be patient and must wait for a safer opportunity. Whilst waiting, we should not signal as another driver might think we are about to steer right and brake to avoid us. Once we are sure it's safe to change lanes, the best way to inform others of our intention is to use our indicators. We should always try to indicate for a few seconds before we actually change lanes, as this will give other drivers time to understand what we are about to do. The more predictable we are to others, the less chance there will be of an accident, but surprise or mislead others and it will put us in danger. We recommend indicating even if we don't think there is anyone near us, just in case we haven't spotted someone in our blind spot over our shoulder. So if they spot our indicator flashing, they have a chance to move before we actually change lanes. Now we are ready to actually change lanes, we should steer our car smoothly to the other lane. Unless it's an emergency, we should never swerve our car, as it might surprise others or even lose control of the car. Once the lane change has been completed, we will usually need to manually cancel the indicator, as we probably haven't used enough steering angle for it to cancel automatically. If we leave the indicator on after the lane change, we could mislead other traffic especially if there are other junctions nearby. Once we have completed our overtake, we need to change lanes again to the left, so we use the MSM routine once more. Before we signal to commit to the manoeuvre, we recommend making a quick shoulder check, just in case there is any danger that isn't in our mirrors. Watch the white car approaching behind us. We can see it in our right side mirror. Then, the car disappears into the blind spot, and we can't see it in either our mirror or side window. It's over 10 seconds before we finally see it again to our right. 
Imagine steering into the right lane with this car beside us. It would almost certainly result in a crash. This is why we should always do a shoulder check so that we know it's definitely safe before changing lanes. When driving on dual carriageways, we will often need to overtake slower vehicles. Once we have spotted the slower vehicle, we should first consider whether it is worth overtaking. If we are fairly near our planned exit, it might not be worth bothering with the overtake or we might get stuck in the overtaking lane and miss our exit altogether. In this case, we do want to overtake the lorry, so we check our mirrors to see if it is safe to move into the other lane. We spot a safe gap behind the black car, and after a quick glance over our right shoulder, we signal, and then smoothly steer into lane two. Now we are in the overtaking lane, we increase our speed and drive past the lorry and only after we can see the lorry in our centre mirror, we signal left and steer back into lane 1. So we have used the MSM routine twice here, once to move right and then again to change back to the left lane. We are approaching a large roundabout and we would like to turn right, third exit. When we reach the second exit, we will need to check it's safe to move to the outer lane before taking our exit. We will follow the same MSM routine as usual to make sure the outer lane is clear. Once we have entered the roundabout, we get up to speed then check our left mirrors and over our left shoulder. We can see that there is no danger, so we indicate left and move to the outer lane. If we do see a vehicle alongside us, then we must stay in our current lane. If we brake sharply or try to change lanes abruptly, this could cause a collision. Instead, we continue in our current lane around the roundabout until there is space to change lanes or complete another circuit to try again next time round. There are many other situations that will require us to change lanes but if we always follow the MSM routine then we should stay safe. We might need to change lanes before a junction or drive around a parked car but the routine is always the same. We try to plan ahead as far as possible to give ourselves plenty of time, but if we are unable to safely change lanes for some reason, then we must continue on our current path. Changing lanes quickly or without proper observation is dangerous, but a short detour before continuing our route is no problem. So remember to check your mirrors for nearby vehicles, do a shoulder check of your blind spot, signal to inform other drivers and change lanes smoothly. If you found this video interesting then please click our logo to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified of our next video. If you would like to help support this channel then please click the Patreon link to find out about our crowdfunding campaign. Thanks for watching.